Forced degradation study for pharmaceutical drugs. Forced degradation is also known as stress testing and a drug is degraded forcefully by applying artificial methods. It is a useful tool to predict the stability of any active pharmaceutical ingredient or formulation product. It helps to know about the impurities developed during the storage of drug products in various environmental conditions. A drug substance or product is considered stable if it shows its stability for two years at 30 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 65 plus or minus 5 percent RH and six months at 40 plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius and 75 plus or minus 5 percent RH storage conditions for stability testing. Stress testing, forced degradation study depends upon the product and the type of dosage form. Solid, liquid and injection dosage forms have different procedures for the stress study. ICHQ-1B guideline provides the guidance only on the photostability of the product. According to the FDA forced degradation study is performed during the third phase of the regulatory submission of the drug substance or drug formulation product. Limit of degradation is 5 to 20 percent. More than 20% degradation is abnormal and should be investigated. The forced degradation study should have acid and base hydrolysis, photolysis, thermal degradation and oxidation. Any regulatory guideline does not mention the pH conditions for acid and base hydrolysis, the temperature for thermal degradation or main or concentration of an oxidizing agent. Only ICH guideline Q1B gives the guidance on photostability and states that the light source should be a combination of the UV and visible light. A big question arises here about the concentration of the drug that is being tested for the degradation. 1 mg per milliliter of drug concentration is recommended for the degradation study but some degradation studies are done at the concentration of the drug in the final product. The reason behind this is the degradation at higher concentration become more than the lower concentration and exact amount of degradation can be found in the final product and their impact can be monitored. Conditions for forced degradation studies 1. Hydrolytic degradation – Hydrolysis is a common degradation process by the reaction of chemical with water at different pH values. In forced degradation, the drug reacted with the water at acidic and basic conditions. The concentration of the acid or base is selected according to the stability of the drug substance. Generally, 0.1 to 1 MHCl or H2SO4 hydrochloric acid or sulfuric acid is used to create the acidic conditions and 0.1 to 1 MnaOH or Co sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide is used for basic conditions. The compounds those are not freely soluble in water are mixed with other solvents to make them dissolve in HCl or NaOH. These solvents selected to dissolve the drug should not degrade it. Chemical degradation should be carried out at room temperature but when there is no degradation found at room temperature it should be done at 50 to 60 degrees Celsius. It should be carried out for not more than 7 days. Chemical degradation should be terminated using suitable acid, base or buffer solution to stop the further degradation. The analysis should be done as soon as possible after the termination of the test. 2. Oxidation degradation H2O2 hydrogen peroxide, is a widely used oxidizing agent and also used in the forced degradation study. A 0.1% to 3% solution of hydrogen peroxide is applied at room temperature for 7 days. More than 20% degradation is considered abnormal. 3. Photolytic degradation – Photostability testing of any drug is done to determine the effect of light on the product during storage in the market. Ix stability guidance for photostability describe the light conditions for the photolytic degradation. According to ICH light source should be cool white fluorescent lamp and wavelength of light should be 200 to 800 nanometers UV plus visible. The exposure time should not be less than 1.2 million lux hours and the light intensity should not be less than 200 watt hours per square meter. Conditions should be monitored using a calibrated lux meter. 4. Thermal degradation – temperature affects the stability of the drug substance more than the other conditions. Therefore, it more important factor and should be done carefully. Thermal degradation study is done at 40 to 80 degrees Celsius. 
Don't forget to subscribe this channel. And also hit the bell icon to get regular updates. Thanks for watching this video. Watch more videos. We have created a lot of videos for pharmaceuticals.